welcome guys uh, in previous section we have uh, understand uh, how to read a cross references in this one I, I will give brief introduction about the relay this word you will find uh, mostly in the drawing so I will explain you from the uh, production engineer point of view so what's meaning of relay and how we are using this vocabulary in our testing and commissioning the relay is a device that open or closes the contact to cast the operation of other electric control. It detects the intolerable or undesirable condition with an sign area and gives the commands to circuit breaker to disconnect the affected area, thus protects the system from damage. Uh, this is the definition that you must be reading in the book. I have also prepared a definition which is uh, easier and you can understand easily. Uh, relay is a sensing device. Uh, for example, it can sense, a relay can sense how much voltages are there, how much current is there, uh, system frequency is there and operate, it can operate, it can open or close the power circuit and gives indication and alarm. The relay example I will give you that for example in your uh, house you will find uh, voltages are coming to your system your house like 110 volt or 220 volts if the voltage in increases from if your rated voltage are 220 and increases 20 percent 30 percent 40 percent what could happen the um, uh, your power equipment can burn so what you can do, you can install a relay which is like over voltage relay that relay will monitor over voltages and as soon as over voltage are sensed, for example you have selected the setting of over voltage if uh, rated is 220, if voltage go beyond 250 it will trip or it will open the power circuit. So this is the example of uh, a relay, protection relay we are saying. Uh, whereas uh, there is another term which is called an auxiliary relay. Auxiliary relay is normally used for controlling the circuit. Uh, it, it has an armature coil when it is energized it has auxiliary contacts that will, will be changing its position from normally open to close and you can use these contacts in circuit. So let's see the example here. Uh, this is the relay you can say this is a control relay which is controlling the circuit itself if somebody pushes the button the current will flow this coil and this coil is iron core it will attract this contact and with the magnetic attraction this contact will close and the load will be connected so this is the example of a relay using used in control circuit so it is sensing some current and it is allowing to power to connect to the load. So now we will see, I will take you to the drawing and we will see uh, some relays. Okay, let's go through the drawing. Uh, we have understand, we'll try to understand what is a relay. But I will just try to brief when we are going to the drawing the components so that you can be familiar with them. Earlier we have in part 1 I have told you about the symbols. So this is the MCB miniature circuit breaker. This is another miniature circuit breaker. This is the switch which is by operated by door. This is the light. This one is uh, AC circuit 3 phase. B1 is thermostat and this thermostat is always checking how much is moisture and the temperature and based on it it is operating this contact B1 and this is a space heater which is creating heat in the system and then it's reducing the moisture again you can see this we are telling or we are calling it an auxiliary magnetic contactor or it could be auxiliary relay there is a small difference relay is a small transparent type and contactor is in black and it's more heavier so you can you can check physically in the panel uh, but both function uh, same so this is like a 
auxiliary relay we can say and these are the contacts of this auxiliary relay this is the MCB again and this is let me tell you DC1 is coming here and DC2 is coming through this bus we are calling it a loop or we can also call as a bus because this is a common loop where the supply is taken out at various level positions we are calling this one as a DC bus voltages in the panel so if one is fail the supply is automatically change over to the other one this we will will be discussing when we start the advanced learning here again another auxiliary relay is used okay so you can put your effort to understand if you okay this is a CT circuit which is coming to this is a shorting link and we will be discussing CT circuit I will tell you in detail what is the function this is the terminal block and this is the line differential relay line differential relay and two currents are feeded to this relay differential relay is in brief will monitor current of two ends of a feeder or a transformer or a load and if the in current in by Kirchhoff's current law current in and current out should be same and if both are different then the some there is some leakage current or current is going in the ground it means there is a fault and relay will issue the trip command so this is a test block if you want if you insert the plug these two points will be open 21 side it's an odd side so we are production engineer is calling that this is the yard side because you can see the connections are coming from switch yard or external side to this plug and the even side in our language we are saying this is a relay side so when you insert the plug plug what it will do it will put insulation between 21 and 22 and it will isolate the yard side this is the yard side from the relay side so let's go through again again this is the CT circuit and it's going coming to the shorting link then further coming to test plug and this is the relay again okay so you are now understanding what are different components of the protection system in the drawing and which relays we are using auxiliary relay protection relay okay this is the push button pb let us zoom for you this symbol also this is a push button when you push it f86 if you remember in your previous training is a lockout relay it will reset lockout 1 86.1 is lockout 1 86.2 is lockout 2 and what was the purpose of lockout? Purpose of lockout could be two, but the main purpose is it will, when it operate, it will lock its position, and it will not reset automatically, and it will block the closing of breaker. It is it will lock the breaker. We will further discuss in detail later. This one is the power supply of F51. Okay, 51 is a over current relay. This is the code F is a code for device. 51 is showing the function. Function 51. The relay type here is SEL 751A. The supply is coming through at terminal number of the relay A01 and its negative is coming to A02. And this is again the test plug and when you this this open if you if you notice this is open contact and this is the close contact so test plug contacts are shown as plug is not inserted this is the normal position of test plug what is the normal position of test plug is as plug is uh, not inserted into socket test socket and after you insert the plug in test socket there is a cover and cover in the center has a uh, metallic part that will 
make this supply through so it mean that it has not inserted so position of test plug is plug is test socket is plug is not inserted and cover is also not connected if you are not able to understand don't worry just remember these points when we will discuss further in detail this i am telling you so that you just try to memorize it or try to understand it so this is the power supply and again this is f87 this is again function 87l this is line differential relay i n here is the binary inputs of the relay s101 is a selection you can make this relay on and off through this okay we'll move further this is again over control a these are the binary inputs again you will see uh lockout relay 1 lockout relay 2 trip circuit 1 this is uh, unhealthy this is an indication used for indication and alarm this is auxiliary relay this is another auxiliary relay there is a tripping relay also but uh, let me see they have used in the circuit or no okay this is not relay uh, all the symbol is same you, is look like same as a relay but you have seen they have mentioned here tc1 this we have uh, we will study after this that this is a trip coil then i will explain you the function of it this is not the relay this is a trip coil one they have not mentioned here but with experience i know so when we will be discussing the circuit breaker we will also discuss this point this is the trip circuit supervision relay again the name of relay trip circuit 1 supervision relay so you will not able to understand this here but i will be explaining it in my uh, next lectures and this uh, the tripping is coming from a uh, production relay production relay is operating lockout relay f86.2 and then lockout relay f86.2 is giving tripping this contact will close tc is available here then it will come here and through this uh, auxiliary contact of the breaker 52a and b it will trip so this is just simple explanation even if you are not understanding don't worry i will be explaining this all in detail in the coming lectures so this is your assignment then you can further discover it and try to find different components if you have any question you can always send me and i will i'm really happy to reply these are the auxiliary contacts this could be the auxiliary contact of uh, breaker isolator uh, mcb something like this so thank you very much